The Campeonato Brasileiro Zá Copyright Rie, commonly referred to as the Campeonato Brasileiro and popularly as the Brasileira Poundo, is an annual Brazilian club football tournament organized by the Confedera Picavolt Poundo Brasileira de Futebol, or CBF. At the top of the Brazilian football league system, it is the country's premier football competition. Contested by 20 clubs, seasons typically run from May to December, operating on a system of promotion and relegation with the Campeonato Brasileiro Zá Copyright Ribe teams play 38 matches each, totaling 380 matches for the season. Most games are played on Saturday and Sunday afternoons with other games being played during weekday evenings. Due to historical peculiarities and the large geographical size of the country, Brazil has a relatively short history of nationwide football competitions. Only in 1959, with the advancements in civil aviation and air transport and the need to appoint a Brazilian representative to the first edition of the Copa Libertadores in 1960, was a nationwide tournament created, Tour Section of Brazil. Before the establishment of a national league, the most prestigious football competitions in Brazil were the state leagues, notably the Campeonato Paulista and Campeonato Carioca, the Premier Leagues of the states of Sao Paulo, Paulo and Rio de Janeiro respectively, and a tournament between both states, the Torneio Rio a Euro Sao Paulo. In 1967, the Rio Sao Paulo Paulo was expanded to include teams from other states, becoming the Torneio Roberto Gomes Pedroza which was also considered a national tournament. The first Campeonato Brasileiro with that name was held in 1971. The three tournaments, Tour Section of Brazil, Roberto Gomes Pedroza, and Brasileira Poundo, were unified by CBF in the Brazilian Championship history in 2010. Since its inception, the Campeonato Brasileiro has grown in stature, being considered one of the strongest leagues in the world. The 1993 and 2012 seasons saw every possible international club competition trophy won by Brazilian clubs. The Campeonato Brasileiro contains the most club world champions titles, with four championships won among three clubs. The league also contained the most clubs to have won the Copa Libertadores with 17 titles won among 10 clubs. The league is also one of the world's most powerful ranked as the sixth most valuable with a worth of over $1.43 billion. It is also one of the world's richest championships, generating an annual turnover of over $1.169 billion in 2012. The Campeonato Brasileiro is the most watched football league in the Americas and one of the world's most exposed, broadcast in 155 nations. Since 1959, a total of 17 clubs have been crowned Brazilian football champions, 12 of which have won the title more than once with six having won the title in consecutive seasons. Santos and Palmeiras are the most successful clubs of the Campeonato Brasileiro, having won the competition eight times each. Santos os Santos Ticos, considered by some the best club team of all times, won five consecutive titles between 1961 and 1965 a feat that remains unequaled until today. The state of Sao Paulo Paulo is the most successful state, amassing 28 titles among five clubs. A total of 156 clubs have played in the Campeonato Brasileiro since the first edition in 1959. The reigning Brazilian champions are Cruzeiro, who won their third title during the 2013 season. History, Genesis as Brazilian football became more established in the 1920s, interest in interstate competition grew. The first of these competitions, the Campeonato Brasileiro de Celia Picavolt Micronis Estadio A, was first disputed in 1922 which brought together state football teams. The inaugural winner of the competition was Sao Paulo Paulo. Citing the difficulties in bringing together players from various clubs, Clubs from the Rio de Janeiro Federal District and Sao Paulo Paulo opted to pit their best clubs against each other instead. The Torneio Rio Sao Paulo Paulo, first disputed in 1933 and seeing further editions cancelled due to low interest, became the optimal choice of interstate tournaments. This led the state football team competition, a tournament that was disputed almost uninterrupted until 1950, lose much of its prestige. 
Five more editions later, the competition was scrapped with a celebratory one being disputed in 1987. The Tornai Rios are Pando Paulos, whose inaugural winners were Palestra Italia, kicked up again in 1950 with Corinthians winning the title. Five more Paulista sides won the competition afterwards until Fluminense broke Zar Pando Paulo's streak in 1957. Vasco da Gama's Expresso da Vita Cubed Rio added a second title to Rio in 1958. That same year, the South American Football Confederation approved the creation of the Copa de Campeones de América, later known as Copa Libertadores, a competition that was supposed to bring together the national champions of each South American league. In light of this, the Confedera Picavolt Pound o Brasileira de Desportos, or CBD, created a competition that brought every Brazilian state champion to compete for a national tournament, being named Tour Section of Brasil de Futebol. Beginnings, O Santistico's Legacy The 1959 Tour Section of Brazil, the first national club competition in the nation, counted with 16 participants, ABC, at a copyright Tico Mineiro, at a copyright Tico Paranaense, Auto Esporti, Bac, Chiara, CSA, Ferrovia Rio, Gramio, Herculeo Luz, Manufatura, Rio Branco, Santos, Sport Recife, Tuna Luso and Vasco da Gama. Santos and Vasco da Gama, as Paulista and Carioca champions respectively, entered the competition at the semi-final stage whereas the other state champions were grouped geographically. The eventual winners of the northern and southern zones would go on to the semi-finals of the national tournament. The final series between Santos and Ban needed a tie-breaking playoff to decide the title with Ban coming out on top of a highly contested match. However, overcrowdedness of fixtures, due to the many tours Brazil's national football team partook as well as Santos, forced the match to be played three months after the second leg. The second edition of the competition saw Ban dethroned by Fortaleza in the second stage. Fortaleza would go on to reach the final only to be thoroughly defeated by Palmeiras Academia de Futebol, a squad that contained world-class talents such as Adermia da Guia, Dude, Jama Santos and a Permil Merson Lee Poundo, 11-3 on aggregate. However, this impressive performance by Palmeiras was eclipsed by a Santos team led by Pella Copyright. Cautinu, Zito, Moro Ramos, among others. O Santos Ticos, in a rematch of the inaugural final, crushed Bat to win the 1961 tournament as Pella Copyright and Cautinu scored one hat trick each in the final series. Pella Copyright was that edition's top scorer with nine goals, the highest tally in that category up to that point. Santos became the first club to retain the Brazilian national title in 1962 defeating Botafogo's Gloriosos, which contained many of the game's best ever players such as Mario Zagallo, Garinka, Milton Santos, Amarildo, etc., 5-0 in front of 70,324 spectators at the Estadio do Maracana Pound. O Santos Ticos also became the first squad in the world to win the Continental Treble, winning the Paulista Poundo, the tour section of Brazil and the Copa Libertadores in 1962. O Santos Ticos managed to win their third, consecutive title after defeating Ba once again, this time with an 8-0 aggregate with Pella Copyright responsible for four of those goals. A hat-trick from Pella Copyright helped Santos defeat Flamengo 4-1 in the first leg of the 1964 Tour section of Brazil final at the Estadio do Pacambu. Santos was able to grind out a 0-0 draw in Rio de Janeiro, retaining the trophy once again. Santos' record pentacampeonato was achieved in 1965. With a brace from Dorval and Taninu, Santos ran out the winners on both legs of the final against a talented Vasco da Gama squad composed of young prospects, winning 6-1 on aggregate. Santos reached their sixth consecutive final in 1966. However, they fell short as Cruzeiro thumped Santos 9-4 on aggregate. As a result of the violence practiced often in the Copa Libertadores by Argentine and Uruguayan clubs, disagreements with Kumebol, the lack of financial incentives and the violent, brutal and controversial way the Brazilian national team was treated in the 1966 FIFA World Cup by European teams, Brazilian football, 
including its clubs, declined to participate in international competition, including the Copa Libertadores and, ergo, the European South American Cup, from 1966 to 1970. The 1966, 1969 and 1970 editions saw no Brazilian teams participating while Santos declined to participate in 1967. Brazilian clubs instead prioritized tours around the world which were financially more lucrative than any official international competition at the time. In order to take advantage of the exposure its clubs had, the Rio Sao Pando Paulo was expanded to include teams from the other states. The Rio Sao Pando Paulo started being called by its official name, Torneio Roberto Gomes Pedroza, nicknamed Roberto Pando to showcase this expanded nature to a nationwide tournament in the 1967 edition. The following year, the delay in closing the 1968 tour section of Brazil made CBD use the Roberto Pound O to determine the Libertadores' representants. With the extinction of the tour section of Brazil, the Roberto Pound O, officially named by CBD as Tour Section de Prata remained the top Brazilian championship the following two years. The Brasileira Pando's establishment, following Brazil's third world title at the 1970 FIFA World Cup, President Dima Leo Mar Copyright IC decided to organize the Brazilian football better. In a reunion with the CBD and the club presidents in October 1970, it was decided to create the following year a true Brazilian championship contested by 20 teams, inspired by the national tournaments in the European nations. The first edition of the Campeonato Brasileiro, named Campeonato Nacional, was held in 1971. The top division was named Divisa Pando Extra, while a newly created second division earned the Primera Divisa Pando name. In 1979, all big clubs from Zar Pando Paulo, except Palmeiras, withdrew from the competition. He protested against the odd system of tier qualification, which made their rivals, Pamiras and Guarani, enter only in the final phase and also asked for the same privileges. Oddly enough, Guarani finished in the top 12, while playing only three games, and Pamiras finished third, despite playing only five games, in a tournament with 96 entrants. A tempestuous decade, in 1984, Juventus, a small club from Zar Pando Paulo, managed to qualify for the Tsar Copyright Rye participants during that year could be promoted from and relegated to Tsar Copyright Rye B in the middle of the tournament. Juventus thus started the tournament in the Premiership, was relegated in the middle of the tournament, but eventually managed to clinch the Tsar Copyright Rye B title. Despite this, the team was not promoted to Tsar Copyright Rye A in the following year and failed to qualify to it from the state championship. In 1987, the CBF announced that it was financially unable to organize the Brazilian Football Championship, only a few weeks before it was scheduled to commence. The Confederation said that it would try to find a sponsor, or would agree with the clubs that they finance it themselves with travel. Without an agreement, it would only be a regional tournament. As a result, the 13 most popular football clubs in Brazil created a league, dubbed the Club of the Thirteen to organize a championship of their own. This tournament was called Copa Unia Pando. Sixteen clubs eventually participated, completely without the permission of the CBF. To reconcile the interests of the CBF with Club of the Thirteen, Copa Unia Pando was called Green Module, and Copa Brasil was called Module Yellow. At the end, there was a cross between the champions and runners-up from both modules, groups to determine the two representatives of Brazil for the Copa Libertadores in 1988. Flamengo and Internacional declined to participate. Sport and Guarani did play in the final two games, that enshrined Sport of Recife as Brazilian champion of 1987. In the following years Flamengo also considered itself Brazilian champion for winning the top division of the Copa Unia Pound O. In 2014, STJ and CBF ruled that Sport is the only 1987 winner. The league becomes fortified. In 1999, an averaging relegation system was adopted, similar to the one used in the Primera Divisia Cube den Argentina. The two clubs with the worst point results in the first stage of the two previous seasons were to be relegated. However, this system only lasted for a single season. 
During the first stage, it was discovered that one player was registered with false documents. Due to this scandal, CBF decided to punish the player's team by annulling games in which this player took part. Due to this, the average points of some clubs were changed, so one club lost positions and was relegated. This club immediately sued CBF, which was prevented from organizing the 2000 Brasileira Poundo. In light of this, Club Dos 13 organized the championship of that year, officially named Copa Joe Poundo Havalang in homage to the former CBD and FIFA president Joe Poundo Havalang. An era of growth, before 2003, the format of Tsar copyright dry A changed almost every year. For specifics, see Campeonato Brasileiro tournament scheduling. Since 2003, the Tsar copyright dry A has been contested in a double round robin format. The team with the most points is declared champion. There is no final match, which is a very controversial subject. Prior to 2003, the Brazilian championship had traditionally been decided via some type of playoff format, rather than the European model of points accumulation over a season. Although some complain that this system lacks the drama of playoffs and finals, the competition has so far proven to be well balanced, without a small number of clubs dominating the league, a phenomenon often found in many European leagues. Eleven matches of the 2005 competition were annulled due to a match-fixing scandal and had to be replayed. For the 2006 season, the number of contestants was reduced to 20 and CBF claims it to be the definitive format, with the best three or four teams qualified for the Copa Libertadores and the least four relegated to the Tsar copyright Rai B in the following year. In 2006, a limit on the number of foreign players was set, such that no team can have more than three foreign players on the field or on the bench in a single match. From the season 2014 onwards, teams will be able to have five foreign players listed for a match and no limit on the squad. The seasons with the largest number of entrants of the competition were 2000, 1979, and 1986. In 2010, CBF decided to recognize the champions of the defunct tour section of Brazil and Torneio Roberto Gomes Pedroza as Brazilian champions, creating some controversy as there was a two-year period when both tournaments were held, thus Palmeiras was awarded two times for winning both in 1967 and both Santos and Botafogo were recognized as champions in 1968 as each tournament was won by one of them. In 2012, the current ranking of the IFFHS shows that the Campeonato Brasileiro Zar copyright dry A is the second best football league in the world, surpassed only by the Liga BBVA. Competition Format Competition There are 20 clubs in the Brasileiro Poundo. During the course of a season each club plays the other twice, once at their home stadium and once at that of their opponents, for a total of 38 games. Teams receive three points for a win and one point for a draw. No points are awarded for a loss. Teams are ranked by total points, then goal difference, and then goals scored. At the end of each season, the club with the most points is crowned champion. If points are equal between two or more clubs, the rules are. If the tie is between more than two clubs not disputing the national title or relegation, then the tie is broken using the games the clubs have played against each other, a, most amount of games won, b, total goal difference, c, total goals scored, d, head-to-head -head record. If the tie is still not broken, the winner will be determined by fair play scales. e, least amount of yellow cards, f, least amount of red cards. If there is a tie for the championship, for relegation, or for qualification to other competitions, the fair play scales will not be taken into account. A playoff match at a neutral venue decides rank. Otherwise, a drawing of lots will determine the final positions. A system of promotion and relegation exists between the Brasileira Pando and the Tsar copyright Ribe. The four lowest placed teams in the Brasileira Pando were relegated to Tsar copyright Ribe, and the top four teams from the Tsar copyright Ribe promoted to the Brasileira Pando. Qualification for international competitions, as of the 2012 season, the top four teams in the Brasileira Pound O qualified for the Copa Libertadores, with the top three teams directly entering the group stage. Previously only the top two teams qualified automatically. 
the fourth-placed team enters the Copa Libertadores at the playoff round for non-champions and must win a two-legged knockout tie in order to enter the group stage. One Copa Libertadores place is reserved for the winner of the Copa do Brasil. If the winner of the Copa do Brasil finishes the Brasileira Pando season between first and fourth place, the next best-placed finisher in the Brasileira Pando takes the vacant slot replacing the one given by the domestic cup. The teams placing 5th to 12th in the Brasileira Pando no longer qualify for the Copa Sudamericana. Instead, the clubs eliminated during the Copa do Brasil's fourth phase will be ranked by their record in the Brasileira Pando, determining the participants for the Copa Sudamericana. If the Brasileira Pando contains the defending champion, S, of the Copa Libertadores and or Copa Sudamericana and they finish the Brasileira Pando in an international qualification zone, that place goes to the next best-placed team in the league. Brazilian clubs who win the aforementioned competitions have the opportunity to participate in the FIFA Club World Cup, the premier club competition in the world, the Recopa Sudamericana, which pits the winners of the Copa Libertadores and Copa Sudamericana against each other, as well, well as the Saruga Bank Championship against the Japanese J-League Cup champion. Identities Barring the tour section of Brazil and Torneio Roberto Gomes Pedroza, along with the format changes the Brazilian Championship had its official name changed often before settling on Campeonato Brasileiro in 1989. Campeonato Nacional, 1971-3, Copa Brasil, 1974-9, 1984, 1986, tour section Adioro, 1980-1983, 1985. Copa Unia Pando, 1987, 1988, Campeonato Brasileiro, since 1989, Copa Joe Pando Havelang, 2000, attendance, the league is the second largest in attendance in South America. Despite the great popularity of football in the country, the league has a low average audience compared to major football leagues in the world, the championship doesn't even appear among the top 10 average attendance in football league. The smallest attendance was in 2004 season with 9,136, the largest was in 1983 season with 22,953. The attendance of 2013 season was 14,951 with average occupation of 40%. The smallest attendance ever was a game between Juventude and Portuguesa in 1997 with 55 fans. The largest was Flamengo and Santos in 1983 with 155,523. Finances The Brasileira Pando had total club revenues of 1.17 billion US dollars in 2012. This makes the Brasileira Pando the highest revenue football league in the Americas, and the highest outside of Europe's Big Five. In comparison, it is significantly surpassed by the revenues of Europe's premier international club competitions UEFA Champions League and UEFA Super Cup combined, despite being continental tournaments, which garnished over US$1.78 billion. US dollars. The Brasileira Pando's gross revenue is regularly the fifth highest of any American sports league, behind the annual revenues of the four most popular North American major sports leagues. The Brasileira Pando is also one of the world's most powerful football leagues, having a marketing value and worth over US$1.24 billion in 2013. The total worth of every club in the 2013 Brasileira Pando is US$1.07 billion. The Brasileira Pando's television rights are the most valuable ones in the Western Hemisphere, worth over US$610 million in 2012. That accounts for over 57% of Latin America as a whole. The Brasileira Pound O clubs are some of the richest football clubs in the world. Forbes, who annually release figures on club value, listed Corinthians in the top 20 for the 2012 season. The club is the 16th most valuable club in the world, worth over US$358 million. US dollars. In terms of revenue, Corinthians is also Brazil's richest sports club and the 31st biggest football club in the world, the largest outside of Europe, generating an annual turnover of over US$126 million US dollars in 2012. As of 2013, five Brazilian clubs have a brand value strong enough to break into the top 50 list worldwide according to Brand Finance.
Corinthians brand, ranked 19th, is worth 103 million US dollars. The brands of Santos and Sao Paulo Paulo, ranked 38th and 39th, are worth 65 million US dollars and 62 million US dollars, respectively. Flamingo and Internacional are worth 55 million US dollars each and ranked 45th and 46th. TV Partners Awards and Trophies Premio Crac do Brasileiro Poundo is the league's official award. Placar Magazine's Bola de Ouro is the oldest award, while the Trofa Copyright Uzma Santos and the Trofa Copyright Ujo Poundo Saldana are awards given by the newspaper Lance. Teams, Stadiums and Locations Records and Statistics List of Brazilian Football Champions 18 clubs are officially recognized to have been the Brazilian football champions. Performance by state, players, attendance records, sources, UOL Placar Magazine, Guia do Brasileira Pound 2010 and Globosporty.com website. See also List of Brazilian football champions, Copa do Brasil, the National Cup competition, Campeonato Brasileiro tournament scheduling, Historical development of Campeonato Brasileiro from 1971 until today. Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright Ribe, the second division of Brazilian football, Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright C, the third division of Brazilian football, Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright D, the fourth division of Brazilian football, Campeonato Brasileiro Sub-20, the official U-20 national football tournament. Campeonato Brasileiro de Celia Picavolt Micron is a statue. The tournament contested by state teams between 1922 a Euro 1962 and in 1987. Brazilian Football State Championship The football competitions in the 26 states of Brazil and the Federal District, Torneio Rio Zar Pound o Paulo, the interstate competition between Zar Pound o Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, the two strongest football states at the era held from 1950 to 1966, in 1993 and 1997 to 2002. Torneio Roberto Gomes Pedroza, the national tournament from 1967 to 1970, Tour Section of Brazil, the national tournament from 1959 to 1968, Football in Brazil, References External links, CBF Confedera Picavolt Pound o Brasileira de Futebol Brazilian Football Confederation, Brazil All-Time Top Scorers, RSSSF Brazil Links, Best Attendances 1971-2008, Zero Zero PT, Map of Serie A Club Locations, Vicpedia The Brazilian Football Encyclopedia, with historical statistics about championships, clubs, games, athletes, and more. Champions Squads